one Tammy to another, give me a little Tammy, why not? Just give me a little. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. Do we know the word? That's all I'll give you. Giving all your love to Mark. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm humiliating myself. When you're working on new music now, are you tapping into those diaries to some more? Yes and no. I think I'm doing new diary entries, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait for people to hear it. Well, what you said to me was, I want people to realize that I have songs in me that aren't just, I'm sad. Exactly. I'm so tell everyone right now, you are happy. I am so happy, and you're going to be so happy when you hear the music, I promise. The last time I saw you, I interviewed you, and I asked you, Robert Pattinson had just been announced as Batman. What did you think when you saw him as Batman? I still haven't seen it. What? I will see it. Listen, mate, I, it's amazing how few films I see. Every director I work with, I've seen a couple of their films, and they're always looking at me going, are you kidding? I, I like to really savor films, and uh, I don't watch too many, but I will. Robert is an absolutely wonderful actor. You know, We bumped into each other, talked a little bit about it ahead of time, and I hear wonderful things. Uh, you, told them how to pee. you told them how to pee. Among many other things, but that seems to be the one that uh, is the most entertaining tidbit, yeah. Tell me about the inspiration. Um, well, it's The Gilded Age. The Gilded Age is very golden. You know, I went with Androgyny, you know, I also did a little reveal of my boobs, but not the nipple though, because I still have to hide those, apparently. I have to ask you, you made all those headlines wearing a skirt. What was the inspiration? I don't know. I, like, we're all gonna die, so let's like mess it up, you know. It's so good. Okay. It was great. <laughs> Barbie, yeah. when you see the wardrobe for the first time, you see the concept for your hair. What goes through your mind? Finally, <laughs> finally, it's happening. This has been coming my whole life. You've been manifesting that. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was amazing. Was it like seeing yourself for the first time in a complete look? I felt seen. I felt like I was seeing myself. I felt seen. I think a lot of Kens will feel seen when they see this. You're doing this for the Kens of the world? Got to do it for They're the Kens. Very marginalized. Nobody plays with the Kens. Were you surprised by Sam Elliott's comments? I think Sam, look, what can I say? I'm sorry, he was being a little bit of a B-I-T-C-H. And I'm sorry to say it, but he's not a cowboy, he's an actor. The crowd here is part of the world, and people are almost crying. The reaction, tell me about hearing that and seeing that. You know, I'm just pinching myself. I feel really kind of like out of body in a way, like seeing myself play a character that I've loved for so long and um, just putting my own twist onto it and I'm just so grateful to be here. I want to know, are we going to see Jonathan Majors in a white wedding dress a la Dennis Rodman? It's not out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> gotta make a movie, you know, we gotta make the movie, so whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Oh, right now, you need to promise me you're putting on a white <laughs> wedding dress. I don't know if I can promise that. I gotta, we got we to gotta figure out what the director wants. Is there one project that you really want to do that's your dream project? Oh my god, my book, of course. Tell me. Tell yeah. Well, I don't want to give too much of it away because I am very superstitious. Superstitious, so I don't I don't like to speak of things before they're finished. Um, but it's um, so far a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs>